Great is the army That carries out his soon old Gabriel's gonna come out one day very soon Gabriel's gonna come out with that trumpet he's gonna blow it on that holy mountain hallelujah and the saints are gonna rise glory to God to meet him in the air hallelujah Amen. The sooner the better. And they that remain shall be caught up with him in the air. And they shall be with the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we got to sing it. To remind ourselves of that. Because, I mean, otherwise it can get pretty gloomy down here. Well, there's a blessed time that's coming, coming soon. Might be evening, morning, or at noon. Wedding of the bride, and I did with the bro. We shall see the king when he comes.
Brother, are you ready for the call? Crown your Savior King, Lord of all. The kingdoms of this world shall soon be poor and fall. We shall see the King when he comes. Sing it now. can't sing that any other way <laughs> there is no other way to sing that than to just belt it out give it all you got <laughs> because it's true he's coming back and we're going to be with him and let's not forget that and all the stuff that's going on in this world the crime the drama all the politics everything else Okay. Well, it's good to, that you're still with us. Praise God. So, you know, we're just rejoicing tonight because we got enough bad news in this world. We got enough stuff going on in our lives. And I know sometimes you just need a break from it. You need to get away from it. And you need to get into this joy, this victory, this praise this worship that we have <laughs> in jesus christ look at it uh you guys are crazy and so we have this joy and we have this peace and we have this just love and let, let's keep it going um a friend oh my not a friend my nephew he has a friend that is uh i don't know she had it some episode psychotic episode and she ended up in the hospital and I, I think she has schizophrenia or something it's carrot top yeah it looks like it ah, there's the 80s that guy looks like he's from the 80s i guess we're keeping the theme going tonight anyway but any anyway she ne <laughs> anyway she needs prayer tonight we need to pray for her for God to move in her life. I, I can't remember her name, but, you know, the Lord knows. Let's pray for her. Father, tonight we pray for this one that is in the hospital with schizophrenia. We know, Lord, that you're a healer tonight. We pray that you would be with her, that you would make her whole, Lord, in her mind, in her thoughts, in her body, that you would deliver her from this, God, in the name of Jesus. She, know, she said she believes in you, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit bring the word and the power of Jesus Christ into her life. And we ask you, Lord, in your mighty name, for a cousin, Lord, your cousin that has it, we pray for him, Lord, for healing in the name of Jesus. Anybody with this disorder tonight? And God, while we're on that, we pray for my mom that you would give her Father God, a sound mind, this dementia that's it's invaded her life. And we ask God for a mighty touch on her mind and this hearing device that's going to come next week. Help her, Lord, that she wears it to be able to hear better and to be able to have a maybe to enter into conversations better, obviously, and all of those things, Lord God, grant her a healing in her body and mind in the name of Jesus we ask for it, Lord. We thank you for it. Um, some of the things that we've been praying for, my nephew, not my nephew. Well, I guess he will be. If they ever get married, he'll be my nephew. But it's my niece's boyfriend. Um, we, we've been praying for him to get a job. He did get a job in the, electric, in the field that he's in, heating and cooling. So that's a blessing. We thank God for that. We, God answered that prayer. Um, so many answers to prayer. Um, I'm trying to think of them. I don't have the list up. It's my fault. I didn't get it ready. I'll try to do that. 
if I can remember next week. But if you can think of anything tonight that, you know, we've been praying for and God has answered, let us know so we can give God the praise for it. Let's make sure that we're not just asking God, but we're thanking God. Amen. That we're asking and then we're thanking because he's doing so much in our lives. You know, sometimes you just need to praise him. Um, weird. I said my camera was off, but I don't think it's off. That's bizarre. But sometimes we just need to praise him in, in faith. And just say, God, thank you for healing me or thank you for meeting my need. In Well, you didn't see it yet. You didn't see it manifest. But by faith, you believe him for it. God answers your prayers because he loves you. And when you ask him, believe. Jesus said, believe the things that, that you, you, you prayed for and you'll receive them. Faith is, is not what you see faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen that's what faith is faith grabs hold of that which is invisible that hasn't been manifest yet and believes for it and it reaches out and grabs hold of it now i would rather i said this before i'd rather err in having too much faith in god than not enough because I don't see anywhere in the Bible where Jesus rebukes anybody for having too much faith. But I do see in the Bible he rebuked them for not having enough faith. So I'd rather go on a limb and believe God to heal me or de deliver me or give me something that I need in my life that I'm praying for and believe for it and stand on his word because he answers prayer. Because he's a prayer answering God. Andy, we've been praying for him, and God is moving in his life. He still needs encouragement. God's working in him, and we're praying for our partnership and the ministry to continue to grow. Father, we just pray for this partnership of ministry with me and Andy working together and, and with everybody here, our team, everybody. Thank you for Sunday nights, Lord that you're moving in this Sunday night ministry and people are coming to the services and they're getting blessed. But we pray, God, that you'll help us to organize and get everybody together in the site where they can receive from you in, in more of, of an organized way. Lord, we pray for the website, that it'll grow, that people will join it and become a part of it. And we pray for our Discord ministry to grow and increase in numbers, in God, that people will join it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke any kind of attack of the enemy, any kind of block that Satan would put on us or against us, Lord. We pray it against it in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Christ over this ministry that it will go forth, God, in power, in strength, and in glory. Um, and I thank you, Lord, that since I went on that other server, that their server is growing again. And we thank you for the people that, not that I did anything, but we thank you for the people that are coming into that server. And, and I pray for them that they will grow and increase in their numbers. But Lord, we pray for that blessing on our server as well, that there'll be new people coming in by the grace of God into our ministry here and be able to have more people to minister to and fellowship with. And God, we thank you for all these blessings. We thank you, Lord, for healing. In my knees and in my body, especially, Lord. Did I tell you guys about that fall I had at the lake? Did I tell you about that? I don't even remember if I did or not. I don't know if I told you or not. <laughs> All right, well, get ready for this one. <laughs> I was walking my dog at the, at the lake, and it had just rained, and it was slippery. And I got along the edge of the bank. 
by the water and there was geese poop everywhere and I slipped on it. I know I know it sounds funny. Go ahead and laugh. But when I slipped, I literally went up in the air and my leg went underneath me and I landed on it. I mean, it was like I thought I broke my leg or at least my bad. That was my bad knee. I thought, oh, no, my knee is going to be really bad. And I had my dog. I was holding him on the leash. I, luckily, he was on an 18-foot leash and not on a short one. And he kind of was good. He just kind of stayed where he was. And I had a thermos of coffee in the other hand. And I just prayed. I said, God, help me. I, I got to get up. And I, all of a sudden, man, it was just like, and I'm telling you, man, I believe the supernatural strength. I just got up. And I still had my coffee in my hand. I didn't spill it. Of course, it was in a thermos, but I didn't spill it. And the dog was still in my hand. And I still had him. And, and I got up and I just walked out of there. And I was like, thanking God. I mean, and my knee was fine. And I mean, to tell you, that was to me a, a blessing. Because I thought for sure I was going to be, you know, not able to even get out of there. I mean, I was very, uh, that was, that was very, uh, uh, bad but uh, you know god is so good and, and so that is a blessing that my leg was uh not injured and god is and i keep claiming my healing i gotta go see it uh, i gotta go get some x-rays on my knee i need to know if i have arthritis i don't even know if i do but i need to have that so i can attack it with prayer once I know exactly what it is so I got to do that I have a prescription to get the x-rays done so I can go do that and my nephew Anthony's still in jail he needs God in his life he's you know he he's just one of those people that he can't be on the outside. He just, he's addicted to heroin and fentanyl and he's an alcoholic and he's got all kinds of problems. Just keep praying for him. His name's Anthony. Lord, we lift up Anthony. We do pray for his deliverance and his salvation. We know the Holy Spirit is ministering to his heart. We pray for, to send Christians to him and that he will pray and he will get rid of these demons in Jesus mighty name by the power of the Holy Spirit. We, we, de we, we demand those demons to leave him in Jesus' name and that his mind would be of soundness to hear the word of God and to be able to receive it in his heart and be saved in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you would just do a mighty work in Gary, continue to heal him, Lord, if he needs to have surgery on his back, that he'll be able to get it. And that it would it would heal all of these dizzy things in him. And God help him. We ask you to be with him and my sister Dawn. Help her to uh, be more uh, involved in my mom's life and, and to be more involved in our family, Lord. We we come against the enemy in families, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name, Lord, that you'll continue to move. Continue to be with Butler, Lord, as he's getting ready to move. And help him with all of his finances and needs, Lord. Continue to bless him. We ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for Goldie, Lord, that she came back into the chat on Sunday night. And we pray, God, that you were with her. And thank you for healing her, Lord, of, of, of things in her legs and, and things that you've done in her life, Lord. Continue to bless her and, and all those that are on Wire Club that have come into our ministry, that they'll continue to come in. And that will grow in the Lord and that we'll be able to establish a stronghold for the Lord on there. And God bless that ministry in Jesus name. Lord, we continue to pray for the nations that are rumbling around us, Russia and, and all of these things. We pray for that reporter that is in prison now in Russia. He just got 16 year sentence. And we pray, God, that by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, that he'd be released from that prison that they would be able to make a deal to get him out of there, Lord, in the name of Jesus and return home. Father, we just ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. Any of these prisoners 
in, in any of these prisons would be set free and delivered in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for all of these things, all of these needs, Lord, that you're meeting, all of the things, God, that you're doing. We thank you, Lord, and we pray, God, that you would move in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And, um, yeah, so I think I put this prayer sheet in the uh, Discord room, but if I didn't, I'm not sure. Let me check and see if I did, because I think I did. If I did, it would be up some. Yeah, there it is, right there. Prayer Ministry Doc. Let me see about this. I want to pin this message. All right, I pinned it. Now it should be at the top from now on. Wait, not at the top. It should come up at the bottom. I guess it'd be pin oh I don't know where where are the pin messages at oh see all pin messages all right well anyway I pinned it in there what I want you guys to do I think this is an editable document in other words I think if you want to add prayer requests to it go ahead do that because a lot of times we don't remember when we're doing these live streams we don't remember what kind of stuff to pray for i know there's a lot more things and i know we've prayed for other people and they're not on this list so let's try to keep a better track of it so if you've got prayer requests if you don't know how to doc you know get into it it's just a word document if you if you for some reason i don't know maybe you can't even do it but just <coughs> just keep putting them in the room and i can add them to the sheet I haven't seen Forrest in a while. Anybody seen or heard from him? So we need to do some follow-up. I mean, we got some people that are part of our flock here that we're not following up with very well. And I, again, that's my fault. I, uh, <laughs> we had a lot of prayers going on in here over the over the last year. So we need to check the room. If somebody wants to be in charge of that, let me know if you'd like to be in charge of putting the prayers together. Help me out. <laughs> it's hard for me to remember everything. I got so much going on, and I'm trying to really do the follow-up. That, that's something that you got to do it almost every day. You just got to keep reaching out little by little, boom, boom, boom. And I mean... It's like that on Discord because these people, they don't always come into our server. They're not. We've been dead for so long that they don't think that we're live and active. And then, you know, when you reach out to them, then they start, you know, coming around a little bit. And I think they're waiting to see if we're going to stay on here before they commit to being back on. So hopefully, you know, we'll start seeing more activity. Um, yeah, it's hard because really to be honest we need like one or two people that would just be full-time follow-up people send out message and I'm, I'm not asking anybody to do any more than you're already doing but i'm just saying like somebody that would send out messages ahead of time before the services especially before the events it's part of the reason we don't get anybody is because we don't do that and you almost have to individually reach out you know say hey we're having a service come on join us or we should be doing the little follow-ups every day, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, maybe we could do, you know, at every one post like we've been doing that kind of, you know, does hits everybody at once. But even that would be better than what we're doing, nothing. So, but that's just something. If we're going to do it, we have to be in it, you know what I mean? We have to do that. Otherwise, those people are just going to go away. We're not going to, we're going to lose them. And I don't want to lose people that we've invested in, time in, and, and they've come to some services. Some of them probably aren't even active anymore, and we just have to move on and just, you know, like I said, we've got plan. Just 
taking time and getting it together. Hopefully we can work that plan and start getting people. Um, but just keep praying, you know, everything in prayer and in its time and God will bless and we'll get new people coming and then we'll, we'll grow. We, you know, we have a good thing. We just need, we need to grow. One of the, um, people that I invited from another server, <laughs> she told me that she found a server already. And I'm like, all right. I said, well, I said, I wish you well. Um, but I think the part of the problem is we just don't have any activity. It's dead. And as I said, if, if we're a ghost town, people aren't going to come to the server. I mean, we're wasting our time. We really are. If we're not going to post in here every day and not going to be active in here every day, even just posting a Giphy file or, hey, happy Monday or happy Friday, you know, just something that gets activity going. I try to do it as much as I can, but we need other people posting. So if we're going to make Discord our main thing, we need to pump it up. We need to amp it up and get three, four, five people posting in here every day. And then we'll start seeing activity. Other people will come in and start posting. But otherwise, you know, if we're not going to do it, we need to know. We need to ask, okay, are, are we really committed to this or not? Because if we're not committed to it, it's not going to happen. It can't just be one me. Or just Caleb or just Game Warrior. You know what I mean? I mean, you guys are awesome in what you're doing. You're helping out. And, and Lashia, too. Lashia, as well. But we need to grow out beyond us. And we need to get some new people. And what's this bump thing? I get so many notifications from it. But is it working? Are we getting, wow, 45 new messages in bump? Somebody's bumping it. Game Warrior, you've bumped it. Game Warrior, Game Warrior, Game Warrior, Game Warrior. Oh, at Game Warrior. Okay. So people are bumping the server. That's good. If we can keep bumping the server, that'll help. But anyway, I don't want to be negative. I'm just, you know, <laughs> it's just a little discouraging. You know, when you're pouring your heart into this and, and nobody's coming, you know, it's just a little discouraging. So pray for me as well that I'll be encouraged because I want to see God move. And I mean, I'm encouraged a little bit on the Sunday night side of things. I think we need to add another night of live stream to pick up more people. But I think that would work. It would give us another night. It's just a lot of work to set it up, and but I'm willing to do it if, if it's what if it's what's going to help us, you know. And again, we got some other things that we're going to be rolling out. Hopefully next week we can finally roll out feed spot. I'm thinking probably Monday to start getting that going, and that should start. Yeah, maybe in a week or so we'll start to see if we get any hits. Now my Facebook. I did a couple little tiny campaigns with one of my posts. And I've had probably close to a hundred or more people that liked my post. And then I invited them to the, uh, to join my page, my Facebook page. And I think almost everybody did. Now, those people are, that means that they can see my post. So anything that I post, a sermon, a video, anything, they can, you know, connect with that. Now, and I don't know how, how I don't know if, if everyone actually re received that yet or not. We'll have to see. But that was very successful. And if even if you've got 10 or 15 people or even five, that's a good start because those people, once they join the Facebook page, I'm able to chat with them. And if I can chat with them, then I can, it's easy for me to, are you on discord? Yeah. Well, come and join our discord server. And then there's five people. We just added to discord just like that. So that's the, that's what we have to do. We have to use all those tools and our resources and, and do it, but it only works through prayer. I mean, we could sit here and do nothing, 
and just trust God and he can do it. But what does he tell us to do? He tells us to sow, right? Sowing means working. It means working the field. And working the field requires, in this case, it requires us being on here and doing what we're doing. And we're doing it. We're doing it. We're sowing the seed. What we're doing on Sundays. I mean, we're getting unsaved people that are coming in and they're hearing the gospel on Wire Club. That's what it's all about. Wire Club is, for some reason, that site has been so good to us. God has used that site. But there are other places. There are other sites. Um, when I was listening to that guy, he's that I'm. I got a, a lot of confirmation from him about how to send out those little short video clips and stuff. And I started, you know, I started to work on that a little bit. But one of the things he said is that one of the pastors that he was he was trying to help sent out a message over forty times to different sites and, and then after the 40th time he got he finally got a hit on on his post and he had over a million people follow his post because that's how it works once you get a hundred then it's easier to get a thousand once you get a thousand it's easier to hit ten thousand it snowballs it snowballs see we've never had that happen because we've never had a post do that and the reason is it's because I I didn't really know and understand social media. I, I really didn't want to know and understand social media, so I've never really cared. I just post it, and hopefully somebody will get it. And that has happened, and, and it has been, but it's more random. But there is a, a science to this, and believe it or not, there's a science and it's all about learning how to phrase the keywords and things like that. So we're working on it. It takes time. Keep us in prayer. Keep helping us. I know you guys are. Appreciate it immensely. Hopefully one day we'll be able to break through and really have the kind of success that I believe God wants us to have. I don't know why we haven't had it yet. We have had it, I mean, in times past. This, I, no doubt about it. And he, I know Caleb knows. And Gaymore, you know. Lucia, I'm sure you've seen it. But it's it's not that it's not there. It's that right now we're in a, re- a weird place. And I, I don't know exactly what all is happening. I have a feeling that Satan has tried to hinder us. And I think it's a combination of things. But I also feel like we're starting to see a breakthrough. And that's one of the things that we have to pray. pray, We have to pray for this, this breakthrough. Because there's some things coming along down the line that I believe God wants to do. And I got a lot of ideas, but some of them are so, they're not for now. They're not for this time. And maybe God will open up those things later on. Who knows? But let's just keep the faith. Keep strong. Um, Some Saturday nights, we need to start doing some activities. Maybe we can start in the fall, get through the summer. And in the fall, it'll be a good time to start some activity nights on Saturdays. Maybe some karaoke or, or game nights or whatever. And try to get... I'm really... I'm really excited that we can get Discord going again. Yeah, I still think that we might want to try starting another server. Um, maybe a game just for gaming or whatever and, and link it to this one. Who knows? Maybe that would be an option. But I really believe Discord, There's God wants us to reach this, this platform. I do believe that. Or it won't be on here. And I think that it will happen, but we we'll just need to keep focused because it's if we get out of focus, it, it won't happen. But if we stay focused, it will. Now, it's hard because I don't know about you, but I don't always want to be doing this. Sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I got other things going on and you as well. We're all busy people. We have you know lives and 
you know, sometimes I got to hang out with my mom, which is fine. You know, she's, you know, she needs, you know, sometimes just me to sit and watch TV with her or whatever. You know, I can't always be on here. You can't always be on here. That's why I cut the time back. And I don't want to be every Saturday night on here. I don't think that we have to do that. But maybe one or two Saturday nights a month or whatever. Or we can take one of the other nights of the week and do something. But I really believe that that's going to be a key in getting some of the youth on here. Is having some fun things. You know, when we were on here before, that's what we did. We didn't just do Bible and prayer. We did activities and we were, they were coming in and, and then they came into the Bible. They came into the prayer. <clears throat> Remember how we did it? We did it a little differently than we're doing now. Now we're not doing that. We're just, you know, and, and I understand that's what we want. We want to get into the word. We want to get into prayer. And, and I'm not saying that, believe me, I'm not trying to downplay that or minimize it. Please understand. I know that's the most important thing that we could ever do. Right? But anyway, just talking about getting new people. <clears throat> All right, so uh, It, yeah, I know, because at that time, I wasn't going to use Wix. I was going to use um, something else. So we'll have to re <laughs> we'll have to remake it. <laughs> if you want to remake it, I'll, uh, I'll be glad. That'd be good. And I won't delete it. <laughs> I was trying to be a minimalist <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Okay, well, that's all she wrote then. Let's uh, we get together Sunday night for our live stream. Um, we'll see what God does on Sunday, and uh, we'll see you guys. Have a good Saturday. Have a good weekend. Hope the weather's good. And uh, I think it's going to be all right here. It's cooling down a little less humid. I like that. So hopefully uh, next week, my mom's 80, 90, 94th birthday, 94 years old next week. <clears throat> Maybe I'll bring her in on Tuesday night. It's her birthday, and you guys can wish her a happy birthday. I'll have her stand next to me or something. She's uh, 94. That's amazing. That's a tribute. And, and I mean, she's not, she's not showing any sign. Thank God, of slowing down. She's, you know, her mind's not all there, but her body is healthy. You know, as far as that goes, you know, she's. She like, you know, we're getting her. We have. She likes to. We have a swing that she goes outside. And she loves to swing, but it's kind of one of the one of the pins that holds it up is. It, it's broken, so we, we've got a new swing coming. We're going to put it together for her so she can go outside and swing and enjoy the outdoors and stuff like that. But All right, guys, I got to get out. I got to get my dog one last walk <laughs> so he's not so crazy tonight because he sleeps all day now, and then he's alive at night, and he, he gets – he gets the zoomies in the house and he runs back and forth. He's a maniac. I have to let him out. That's right. Just like that. Even worse. He's worse than that. Oh, that's pretty good. I think that's a dog I know. That's. I think that's Key. A husky that has a channel on YouTube. One of the one of his one of the dogs that Key is uh, 
when he was little, he, uh, an older Husky mentored him like an older brother type thing. And for years and years, they were together and not, they didn't live together, but the guy would bring Sherpa, is the name of that Husky. He'd bring it over to see Key. And, um, and they played and they had good life. Well, Sherpa just died. He was pretty old. And it's pretty sad because now Key doesn't have his friend. But whenever she would mention Key, or uh, to Key that Sherpa was here, he would get crazy. He would just go to the door and wait. And as soon as they came in, they would just play and play. And then they would, you know, they would get treats. And it was just cool. And I, and I hope she finds another Husky or something for him because <laughs> you get to know these, these people. They have YouTube channels and things like that. You get to know their animals and stuff. And I don't watch a whole lot of them, but that was one I watched before I had my Husky. So anyway... Adios, amigos. Stay thirsty. <laughs> For the Lord. God bless. Stay thirsty, my friends. God bless you. Take care.